Hey guys, today I'd like to talk about dehydrating foods for uh, future trips of mine. Um, I had given to me five pounds of spicy pepperoni. It all came in a big bag like this. This is still not uh, dehydrated, but since yesterday, I've been dehydrating it, turning it into more like a jerky. I'm doing this for future trips because a lot of my food, as tasty as it is, usually amounts to a, a little bit more weight than I really need to be carrying. And now on the kayak, it really doesn't make no difference, but it all it does when you're when you got to pull your kayak, and pull all your gear up hills or onto ledges and stuff like that. So decreasing weight and decreasing the uh, size of your food packaging and stuff like that it all it, it in the end it all helps it, it, it all saves on energy on energy wasted and energy used <clears throat> so when I was given this pepperoni <laughs> I don't eat that much pizza nor do I make like so I don't make that much pizza and I don't eat that many sandwiches so I really didn't know what to do with it and then I thought you know my dehydrator broke down my own personal dehydrator broke down a couple months ago so I thought I'm gonna borrow my sister's dehydrator thank you Patty and I'm gonna dehydrate this so I could use it in future meals for future trips like this weekend I'm gonna be doing the Elgin hiking trail so the less weight and less room that I'm using for my food is gonna be very beneficial to me The great thing about dehydrating your food is this thing, <laughs> even this right here, still probably weighs a good pound and a half, two pounds. In in total, it probably weighs about five, six pounds the whole bag. This here, which is, I'd say about at least fifty, probably about fifty percent of what I've made, fifty percent of it, doesn't even weigh a pound. Doesn't even weigh a pound. So. After after all five six pounds of uh, meat is dehydrated, I might have a pound worth of pepperoni jerky, I guess you'd call it. And it's gonna uh, it's very tasty. I'm gonna enjoy it while I'm, eat, while I'm eating it on the river or on the trails, wherever I am. The only real pain in the butt thing is you gotta hide. Still eat it just as is, but it's crispier. Nope. Oh, my dog Diesel heard the package and thought he had to come to investigate. But yeah, so I'll just, I'm going to use it with rice. <coughs> wow, spice got in the back of it. Oh, good stuff. But yeah, I thought I'd show you how it comes out. And what I'm also doing. So this is stuff. It's been dehydrating for 12 hours. Comes out nice and crispy. It still uh, has a look of uh, greasiness. Of course, there's quite a bit of fat content in uh, with pepperoni and stuff. So I pull it out. Put it on a plate. 
and so I could package it. I'll put it in the fridge, let it cool down. There's one tray. Empty the second to the bottom tray. Sucks that I only got two trays. If I had three or four, five, I could have did all this a lot quicker. Well, I would have been able to do a lot more in the same amount of time, but. Sorry, ran out of space on that SD card. Camera gear problems, you know. So yeah, I got my mushrooms on here for uh, my rice. Now I'm gonna put some onions. Spread them all out. Kind of be careful. Some are uh, be a little bit small and just fall through like I just had. Okay. Also gonna add green peppers. Now I won't use all of this on the trip, of course, but the fact that it'll be done, I'll get to use probably I'd say at least a third of it, and then the rest will be ready for uh, another trip. So now I got that on one trip, my vegetables on one tray. Put another tray on. And put more pepperoni on. More pepperoni. Lots of it. It's important to note that I've dehydrated foods for uh, trips before, but for the most part, I couldn't really be bothered. Because, or because of the process, really, having to rehydrate, dehydrate it, and then rehydrate it, and stuff like that. But now, as I'm going on more and more trips, I'm going to be doing a lot more uh, hiking trips as the fall comes up. It's coming up only ten, basically ten days till it falls here. I think it's uh, become more prudent to ease up on the weight and the room of my food just to make things a little bit more comfortable not so heavy have more room for things that I uh, the things that I'm going to need so there I got pepperoni on there I still got that much pepperoni filled so that's still going to be another tray's worth or I could even use it for if I wanted to do homemade pizzas. And I throw it on. Plug it in, boom. Wait 12 hours, the pepperoni will be done. Hmm. Hopefully, I'm pretty sure the vegetables will be done in that time or before. We'll see. It's been a while since I've uh, dehydrated vegetables. I know blueberries, they usually take about 24 hours, so. That was what I, the last thing I dehydrated before, what, before my dehydrated cat go and die. So yeah, now I'm gonna let this sit. It's 11.30 right now, by 11.30 tonight, definitely the sausage will be done. And I'll uh, repackage it up. And I'm pretty sure even if the vegetables aren't fully done, they'll be dehydrated enough that it's a lot less water weight in the vegetables and I'll be able to store anyways. Now, one thing I would really like to get, besides my own dehydrator again, is also a vacuum sealer because you could uh, package your food in just regular bags, but 
It lasts longer if you vacuum seal them. You can store them for a lot longer. And it doesn't matter where you can store them. You can store them in your cupboard or in your fridge and vacuum seal it. It's not going to matter too much. As long as you do like, as long as it's properly vacuum sealed, they'll be good for a while. This here should still be good for, I'm hoping at least a month or so. And long enough that I could use it all anyways. But yeah, so now I'm, uh, now that I've done all this, got this, and fall's coming around, fall and winter are coming around. I think it's more important to uh, use, uh, to minimize the weight of my food, my water, well, my water for more bigger trips. I've been invited to do a French River trip at the end of the month, or the beginning of the next month. I want to go. But with uh, my wife being pregnant, high risk, in her th third trimester, and a recent bit of health problems, I don't know if I feel comfortable enough to travel eight hours away, be gone for another seven hours, or another seven days. I might just wait till next year, after the baby's born. But yeah. But definitely, a good thing to dehydrate your food. If you want to go minimal, lightweight, definitely dehydrate your food. That's what I'm going to be practicing pretty much all fall and winter. Like I said, it's more of a pain in the ass because you got to wait. When, when you're hungry, you got to wait to wait 15, 20 minutes to let it rehydrate so you'd eat. But small price to pay. And it's still going to be delicious food. It doesn't really alter the taste at all that I've noticed. So, yeah, this is just the start of my dehydrating, uh, dehydrating my meals. Maybe doing a lot, doing a lot more. The great thing about dehydrating is it's much more cost effective too. You can buy, uh, you go buy your vegetables, buy a uh, couple of little, uh, skinny strip loin steaks. Um, you can buy a box of rice and all of that, and you can pretty much make about at least four or five, about three. I'd say minimum three meals, definitely more with the rice, but you, you can make a lot more meals for cheaper than if you went and bought, say, Mountain House or other uh, freeze dryer dehydrated foods. So, dehydrating your food is definitely <clears throat> the cost effective way to go. And it's also the way to go if you want to reduce your uh, weight and room in your bags and stuff. So, it's the route I'm going to start taking. And I think from now on, I gotta not to be able to borrow my sister's dehydrator all the time, so I'm gonna have to go home and buy my own again. Hopefully, I get one with more uh, racks and the cover, so that the one cover, so that you can uh, dehydrate liquids like uh, chilies and stuff like that without all the, without it all seeping down and stuff like that. So, yeah. Hopefully, you like this video. If you do, please subscribe. Comment if you want, I'll get back to you, or at least uh, acknowledge that you commented. And if you want to like the video, go ahead. But if not, I know it's a pain in the ass always having uh, certain liked videos in your, like, I uh, I use the YouTube a lot for music videos, so I don't like a lot of other videos, because it gets right in your uh, playlist, but I do like some. I know a lot of people do, but I understand if you don't want to. So, please subscribe and comment. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for watching.